Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and it's a bit nippy tonight. Last week the sun was shining, it's not shining anymore. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick video about um, gambling. Basically, um, there are people who are gambling and who, are, who have their gambling out of control, and corals are now have been fined, how much were they fined? 5.9 million pounds because a guy lost 64,000 and what they're saying is that they were irresponsible they didn't check to see where he was getting the money from apparently the man was stealing money to gamble and so um, because of that they held them responsible and won can you imagine that so you know when you kind of think about people going into the bookies I mean there's a bookie on every bloody corner well, not in every corner, but in every town, they've got a couple of bookie shops. And now they're advertising like bingo on TV and stuff like that. And for people who are addicts and who don't have no self-restraint, they can get pulled in. And it's not a good thing. They shouldn't make them so obvious. They shouldn't make them so easy for people to just go in there when they've got an addiction. So uh, now this is going to force gambling houses to take a second look on how they manage you can't just be taking people's money and especially thousands when the guy looks like especially if the guy doesn't look like he's got money and if he did look like he's got money he probably wouldn't be spending it in a gambling place well he might I don't know but the fact of the matter is is that the people you know the people behind the counter do have a responsibility it's like when you go to a pub apparently the bartenders are not supposed to serve you drinks if you look as though you've had too much to drink that is their responsibility so if anything happens in some places you have to hand over the keys before they give you a drink and they're not going to give you the keys back if you look drunk so that's how some people, but I mean, it could get a bit laborious. Can you imagine having in one of these big pubs holding everybody's keys? It's not going to work. So on the one hand, I kind of believe it's the individual's responsibility. And on the other hand, you know, if they do have issues and mental problems, they do need some support and help. So anyway, let me just read, quickly read the short story. So you know I'm not talking out of my head. Um... Labrick's Coral find that after find after customer lost ninety eight thousand pounds. The owner of Labrick's Coral has been fined five point nine million for not protecting vulnerable customers and for failings in its anti money laundering measures. I guess that is a way of money laundering, isn't it? Because if you've got a lot of money and you're gambling it all off. That is like making dirty money clean, especially if you win. Hmm, I never thought of that. The Gambling Commission says that over a three-year period, Labrooks and Coral fail to put effective safeguards in place to prevent consumers suffering gambling harm. One customer lost 98000 and had asked the company to stop sending promotions, but the firm failed to carry out social responsibility in interactions. The Gambling Commission said the problems occurred between November 2014 and October 2017, after which GVC Holdings bought Ladbrokes Coral in March 2018. GVC Holdings will pay 4.8 million and divest 1.1 million gained from customers as a result of its failings. Wow, that's 5.9 million they got to pay. In one instance, a Labrix customer had 460 attempted deposits into their gambling account declined. However, they were still able to lose 98,000 over two and a half years. Because you can set an amount that you don't want to go over. So I don't understand, well, I guess that's a problem if you do it online, but if you're going to go into the shop, what's, I don't understand how they can be responsible. 
I guess if one person is spending 98,000 in one shop, well, this is over a period of four and two and a half years. I don't see how they can be responsible for that, to be honest. The commission also highlighted a coral customer who spent 1.5 million over nearly three years, during which time they logged into the account an average of 10 times a day for one month and lost 64,000 in a four week period. It said Coral did not ask the customer to evidence their source of funds and could not provide evidence of any social responsibility interactions being carried out. Richard Watson, executive director of the Gambling Commission said, there were some systematic failings, systemic failings, at a large operator which resulted in consumers being harmed and stolen money flowing through the business and this is unacceptable. GVC said it acknowledges and regrets that certain legacy systems and processes in place at Leadbrooks and Coal did not adequately meet the regulatory requirements. These historical failings were unacceptable and since the acquisition, I have overseen a, syste a systematic review of the enlarged group's player protection procedures and the individuals responsible for these problems have exited the business, added GCBC Chief Executive Kenneth Alexander. So they've been given the boot. So they probably knew that their people uh, couldn't afford it or whatever and they were still taking their money. I'm confident that we now have in place a robust and industry-leading approach to player protection. Shares in GVC Holdings rose 0.59% to 611.37 pence. As well as the Ladbrokes and Coral Branch, GVC also owns gambling outlets Wynn, Crystal Bet, Euro Bet, Neds and Sporting Bet. Its games brands include Casino Club, Foxy, Bingo, Gala, Gioco, Digitale, Party Poker and Party Casino. So uh, this gambling thing is no joke. I mean, it can destroy your home. It can destroy your family. You see people, you know, near where I live, there's a guy. He's just hanging outside the bookie shop looking for 5p, 10p a pound because he knows that he can, with even with 25p, he can put on a 25p win accumulator and win thousands. So they just lose everything to this addiction. And it's so sad, really. Yeah, so that's all for now. Bye-bye.